What's up my piano friends? Zach Evans here and today we're gonna go over the ultimate step-by-step easy simple version of chords on piano for beginners. Now in this video I'm gonna truly simplify the process. I'm gonna give you a couple easy step-by-step formulas to finding any major or minor chord. And on top of that I'm even gonna give you some downloadable PDF cheat sheets so you can check your answers and you can find any chord almost instantly. And after that we're gonna learn an actual song using chords. I looked up a lot of YouTube videos on how to learn chords. A lot of them taught the theory of chords but then they never actually show you how to put these chords into to a song that you actually want to learn. So we're literally going to sit down and we're going to learn the song All of Me by John Legend by using chords without reading sheet music, without playing by ear, any of that stuff, just using chords. And make sure you stick around to the end. We're actually going to have a little quiz for you at the end just to make sure that you truly did learn everything in the video and you truly are mastering all the chords in the process. All right, I'm ready to go. I hope you're excited to learn. Let's get started. All right, so first off, what is a chord? Now, it's actually very simple. A chord is simply a collection of notes. So I could literally make up a chord right now. I could say these notes. I could say that's the Zach chord. I'm naming it the Zach chord and I would be correct. A chord is simply a collection of notes that we put a name to. Now, the two most common types of chords by far in all of music is major and minor chords. Now, major chords have a very happy sound to them. They sound like this. They sound very happy and joyful. And minor chords are the exact opposite. They sound very sad. They sound like this. And one of the reasons they're so popular, major and minor chords, is because by mixing different amounts of major and minor chords in songs, we can get happy, we can get sad, and we can get every emotion in between. And if you know your major and minor chords, you will be able to play 99% of popular songs out there. All right, so how do we figure out these chords? I'm going to give you a couple very simple step-by-step formulas. So let's do major chords first. Now, the formula for finding major chords is what I call the boom 4-3 method. And how it works is let's say you want to find a C major chord. So you start on the note C and you go boom, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And that's going to be your C major chord, C, E, and G. By the way, if you don't know your note names yet, Give me a couple seconds and I'm going to show you a link where you can get the easiest way to learn all your note names. But for now, just follow along with the video. So let's do it again for another chord. Let's do an F major chord. So we find our note F right here and we go boom, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. F major chord. Let's say we want to find, let's do a little trickier one, a B flat major chord. Now, it's not actually trickier. It's the exact same formula. We just have some black notes now. So a B flat major chord. Here's our B flat. So we go boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Boom. That's our B flat major chord. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, Zach, what's up with the boom? Why do we have to say boom? Why can't we just do the 4-3 rule? Well, the reason is when I first started teaching this, the biggest mistake beginners would make is they would count the first note when they're doing the 4-3 method. So for example, for C, they would say one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And they would play a chord that's wrong. The first note doesn't count. It's not one, two, three, four. It's boom, one, two, three, four. So by saying the boom, I know it's a little bit like, maybe like elementary schoolish to say the boom, but trust me, This helps you to remember it, and whatever helps you remember it, that's what we should be doing to learn things faster. All right, so that's how you find major chords, boom, three, four. Now, how do you find major or minor chords? Now, remember I said minor chords are the opposite of major chords. It's the yin and the yang, it's the happy and the sad. So if major chords is the four, three rule, minor chords, we're just gonna do the opposite. We're just gonna reverse the four and the three. So it's the boom, three, four rule. Okay, so major chords are boom, four, three. Minor chords are boom, three, four. So let's do an example. If we're going to find a C minor chord, we find our C. And remember, for minor, it's boom, three, four. So we go boom, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And that's our C minor chord. If we want to do a, let's say, F minor chord, here's our F. Boom, 
One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Boom, F minor. Let's do, uh, let's do E flat minor. So here's our E flat. We go boom. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Boom. Now we have our E flat minor chord. All right, does this make sense to you guys? Now, at this point, now I'm gonna give you the cheat sheets because in reality, this is a great way to figure out chords and I want you guys to know this because I want you to know wherever you are, you can always figure out any major or minor chord. But in reality, when we're playing songs, we have to have these chords memorized. Otherwise, it would take us forever to figure out every chord of the song. And that's what we use the cheat sheet for. The cheat sheets are also a great way to check your answers just to make sure you're learning them correctly and you're not drilling in bad habits along the way. All right, so we're gonna go to the cheat sheets now. I want you, in this video, there's gonna be a link in the description. I'm also gonna put a link somewhere on the screen. I want you to click that link right now. It's gonna go to this page. Now, this is technically the sign-up page for my free piano course. Don't worry, there's no trial period. I don't ask for your credit card or anything. This is truly 100% free. You click here to sign up now. You enter your first name and your email address. You hit get my free lessons, and that's going to bring you to this page. And this is the kind of main page of the lessons. We want to skip all this stuff right now. We're not worrying about this stuff. We're going all the way to the bottom where I have extras. And this is where I put all the extra resources for my YouTube videos. And if you look, there should be a link that says Piano Chords, the ultimate guide for beginners. Now, by the time you watch this video, this video there might be more links down here. So just look for the one that says Piano Chords, the ultimate guide for beginners. Click that one. And that's where all the resources for this video are going to be. You'll notice there's the three PDF cheat sheets right here. And then there's also going to be the quiz we're going to take at the end. That's going to be right here. And by the way, remember early in the video I said, hey, if you don't know your note names, I'm going to show you how to, to learn them fast. Here's the link right here, easy way to learn the names of the notes. That is going to be the, the link you're going to click on if you don't know your note names yet and you want to learn them. But for now, we're just going to worry about the cheat sheets. So we have first our major chords cheat sheet. If you click on here, you can see it's a basic PDF file with all your major chords. Now this is a great resources for learning your major chords. I'd recommend actually printing this off, stick it on your bathroom mirror, right? While you're brushing your teeth, start learning these chords. Bring it on you to, you know, on the subway while you're going to work and study these chords on the subway. And it shows you all 12 major chords and the notes of the chords are lit up. And what's even more beneficial, it shows you the pattern. So for example, C major, F major, and G major have the pattern white, 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 meaning they're all white notes that you're playing. These three chords have the pattern white, black, white. So it has a white note, then a black note, then a white note. These three chords have black, white, black for the pattern. And you'll be surprised how beneficial knowing the pattern is when you're memorizing these things. Because then you don't have to memorize a bunch of random notes. You're me memorizing patterns that you can use over a couple different chords. Does that make sense? All right, so download the major chords. There's another one called the minor chords right here. It looks exactly the same, but you'll notice it says minor chords, and the chords are different than the major chords, but there's still patterns for minor chords as well. And then also download this last cheat sheet, Close Chords Ultimate Cheat Sheet. Uh, this looks complicated. Don't worry, we're going to simplify it later, but this is going to be the cheat sheet you use when you learn an actual song. And when we learn All of Me by John Legend later in this video, we're gonna be using this cheat sheet to learn the chords. All right, so here we are back at the piano. Now the next concept we have to talk about chords is called chord inversions. Now look, I could get very complicated on the different kinds of chord inversions, but that's not necessary for playing a song. That's a lot of theory stuff. For playing a song, all you have to know is an inversion just means we can play the notes of a chord anywhere on the piano, in any order, in any amount, and it's still the same chord. Let me explain what I mean. Let's say we have a C major chord. You can go to the cheat sheet, you can find your C major chord. It has the notes C, E, and G. But guess what? We can use inversions of this chord to play a C chord anywhere in the piano. So I could play C, E, and G. Boom, that's a C chord. I could play C, E, G. That's also a C chord. It's the same three notes, C, E, G, just in a different order. I could play E, C, E, G, C, E, G, boom. That's a C chord. Any C, E, and G, anywhere in the piano, in any order, is going to be the same chord. 
We could do it the same thing with the G chord. G, B, D. So I could play G, D, B, uh, D, G, B. I could play B, G, B, D, G. Any of these are gonna be a G chord. Does this concept make sense to you guys? All right, now the reason inversions are so important is because they make it a lot easier to play chord progressions. Now a chord progression just means different chords in a row in a song. For example, let's say our song starts off on a C major chord, and then it moves to an F major chord for the next chord. Now if you look at your cheat sheet, an F major chord are these three notes, F, A, C. But if we're actually playing a song, this is really annoying. Why? Because we play the C chord, now we have to move our hand all the way down to this F chord. Now this might not seem hard when you're watching me doing it, but as a beginner, moving your hands all around the keyboard is very challenging and landing on the right notes. Instead what we wanna do is we wanna keep our hand in the same spot and then play an F chord inversion that uses notes that are very close by. So let me explain what I mean by this. So let's say we have a C chord. Now we want to move to an F chord. So we want to move to F, A, C. But this F is very far away, so instead of playing this F, we're going to move it up to this F. This F is a lot closer by. Instead of this A, which is far away, we're gonna move up to this A. And this C is already close by, so we're fine with a C. So now we're gonna play F, A, C. Right, this is just an inversion of F, A, C. Same notes, different order. So this is still an F chord, but now it's close by to our C chord. So now when we're playing a C chord to an F chord, it's a lot easier to play this than to play this, which you have to jump your hand all across the keyboard. All right, let's do one more example on inversions, and then we're gonna start actually learning a song by learning the chords. But I wanna do one more to make sure you understand the concept. So let's go from a C chord to a G chord. Remember, if you don't know what a C chord and a G chord are, you can look them up on your cheat sheet, or you can use the boom four three rule to find the chords. All right, so a C chord to a G chord is far away. This is annoying, right? We don't want annoying things. So we're gonna make the G chord close by. So this G is far away from our hand. So we're gonna move it up to this G, easy. This B is pretty close to our hand, right? We don't wanna move up way up here, that's gonna be kinda of far away. So we're gonna keep it at this note. And this D is very close as well, so we're gonna keep this D. So now we have G, B, D, same notes as G, B, D. So this chord is a G chord, this chord is also a G chord, they're just different inversions. So now we have our C chord and our G chord very close by. It's a lot easier to play these notes. All right, now at this point in the video, I want to make sure that you guys are on track because we're gonna start learning a song and I wanna make sure that you guys understand all the concepts we've covered so far. So I'm gonna ask a favor of you real quick. I'm gonna ask you to go down to the comments and leave one of two comments. Right now, go down there and enter a comment. Either say, Zach, I get it, I'm good, this, is, this, this, this works or go down there and say, Zach, I don't understand this, and here's the specific part I don't understand. And the reason I want you to do that is I'll come back through later and I'll answer the comments, and guess what? There's gonna be you know, maybe 100 other people with the same question they have that you have, right? So if you ask a question, I can answer it. Now we can build this resource of comments underneath the YouTube video, and we can all help each other out and build a piano community. All right, so go down right now, pause the video, leave a comment, and I'll catch back up with you. All right, now we're back. Now we're gonna learn an actual song um, using chords. I hope you're excited. This is kind of the fun part of the lesson. All right, so let's learn the song All of Me by John Legend. Now, first part to knowing the, swords of the, the, the chords of the song. Here's the secret. You don't need to download the sheet music. You don't need to figure it out by ear. You don't need to use your magic genie wishes to figure out the chords. All the chords for any popular song are already on Google. Any popular song you can find on Google. Let me show you. So all you do, you open up a new tab, and you do all of me chords. What are my cap locks on? John Legend. Press enter, and boom. You can see all of me chords, John Legend. All of me chords, all of me chords, all of me chords. There's a ton of different versions on here. Now, I usually try to look for one that has at least four stars. You notice this one has 3.4 stars. 
it might be incorrect. Sometimes there won't be enough versions. You might have to do one that's three stars and hope that it's right. But we're just going to go to this one. It's a five-star rating. It's probably correct. If we click on it, we go to this page. Now, this is technically a guitar website. And that doesn't matter because chords on a piano and chords on a guitar, they're still simply chords. So it doesn't matter. We can use this page. And guess what? We can skip this strumming section because we don't strum a piano. That's a guitar. And if we scroll down, you can see all the chords are lined up for you for the entire song. How freaking great is that? It's all free. It's all easy to find. So now if you look at the chords, well, you'll notice some of these chords have called what's chord, chord extensions. So you can see C major 7. You can see A minor add 9. I want you to ignore all the chord extensions because this is the beginner's piano version. And even if you play a chord without the extension, it will still sound great. The extensions just add a little bit more flavor to it. So for example, C major 7, you would just play a C chord. Here where it says A minor, A, M, add 9, you just play A minor. Here where it says C slash D, ignore the slash D and just play a C major chord. By the way, anytime it doesn't have anything after it, for example, it just says D, that we always assume that's D major. That's just a shorthand way musicians have because most chords are typically going to be major. So if it doesn't have anything after it, it's major. If it has a little M like this, E, M, that just means minor. So anytime you see the little m, minor, anytime there's nothing after it, it's major. Now, if you're on this type, this site, which is ultimateguitar.com, you can actually simplify this by clicking this simplify button. And what's going to happen is if you look at these extensions, they're going to disappear. So if you hit simplify, all the extensions disappear and it's all major and minor chords. Now, I wanted to teach you that even if that's not on here, because some websites don't have a simplify button if you have a certain song. So just know anytime you see add nine or mage seven or slash D, just ignore that and play the original chord. But let's just hit simplify for now. All right, so now we have all our chords in our songs and we have the cheat sheet to figure out the chords. Now, the nice thing about most popular songs is they repeat chords over and over and over again. So let's look at verse one for all of me. You'll notice it has E minor, C, G, and D. And guess what? It's just going to repeat. E minor, C, G, D. E minor, C, G, D. So really, you just have to learn these four chords, E minor, C, G, D, and you can play the entire first verse with the same chords. All right, so how do we find these chords? We use the cheat sheets, of course. So you're actually going to use for this one, go to the, where is it? Um, close chords cheat sheet. And let me explain what this means. So if you remember when we're doing the chord inversions, right? Usually we'd find a chord, then we'd find the next chord, and then we would have to manipulate the chord and put some notes up above to make it closer to the chord that we have. Now what the cl close chords cheat sheet does is it gives you a list and I already did the work for you. I already did the work of finding chords that are close to each other. So if you play any two chords on these cheat on this cheat sheet, they're automatically in an inversion that's gonna be close together. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. Now this looks complicated, but it's actually very easy because I organize it in a way that's easy to understand. So these first two columns kind of go together. You'll notice it's the major version and the minor, minor version of the chord. So this one is A major and then A minor. B major, B minor, C major, C minor, and so on. So the first two columns are like that. And then once we get down to F major, scroll back up to the top and it just goes to the next one. So G major, G minor, G sharp, A flat major, G sharp, A flat minor, and so on down the list. So it's really just two columns of two. And as you can see, it's very, um, it's ordered in letter order. So A, B, C, D, E, F, you go up here to G, and then it does the sharps and the flats. Now, one more thing to notice about this is you notice the sharps and the flat ones, it says G sharp slash A flat major. Now, that looks confusing. All that means is a G sharp major chord and an A flat major chord are actually the same notes. So, this, this has to do with a little more advanced music theory called enhar enharmonics. Feel free to Google it later if you want to, but you don't need to understand enharmonics to practically play a song on piano. So for now, 
All I want you to do is just trust me on this, and anytime you see a G sharp major chord or an A flat major chord, you're simply gonna use these three notes. All right, so let's go back to all of me, John Legend, and let's go back to the chords, and you'll notice it's E minor, C, G, D. All right, so here's the cheat sheet we're gonna use, and the first chord we're gonna find is an E minor chord. So all we do is we go A major, B major, C, D, E. Here's our E's, and here's E major, here's E minor. So this is the first chord, the notes B, E, and G. So it's just gonna be B, E, G, boom, that's our first chord. Let's find our second chord, C major. So we're gonna do A, B, C, here's the major chord, C, E, G. So we do the notes C, E, G, that's our second chord. Our third chord is G major. So we go A, B, C, D, E, F, and then we go all the way back to the top for G. Here's our G major. So it's the notes B, D, and G. B, D, and G. Boom, that's our G major chord. And our next chord is a D major chord. So A, B, C, D major right here. Gonna be the notes A, D, F sharp. So we have A, D, F sharp. D major. All right, so just to review, the four chords are E minor, C major, G major, and D major. All right, so at this point, you know the chords. And remember, if you don't know any of these, you can always just go back to the cheat sheet and look them up. And you can look them up for any song that you're learning. All right, now in the next step, this is the part where everybody freaks out. Because now you actually have to have to learn the chords fast enough so you can play the song. And what most people do, they try to learn all four chords at the same time. It's a very inefficient way to learn. People get overwhelmed and frustrated, and they say, I can't learn piano, and they quit. This is not what we're going to do here. What we're going to do is use a strategy called alternating chords. This is where we only take two chords at the same time, and we alternate between them. All right, so our first chord is an E minor chord. Remember, that's B... E and G. You can look those up on the close chords cheat sheet. We move from this to our C major chord, C E G. So if you, all I want you to do is alternate between our E minor chord and then C major. Now you'll notice there's only one note that changes between these chords. We simply move our thumb from this B up to this C. And these two top notes stay the same. So I want you to alternate this until you have it drilled down and locked down into your muscle memory. All right, unpause the video, and now we're gonna do the next two chords. So we're gonna have our C major chord to the next chord, our G major chord. So you'll notice the top note, the G, stays the same, and we're gonna move this E down to a D, and then at the same time, we're gonna move our thumb from the C down to a B. So basically, these two bottom notes, we're just gonna move down. And this top G is gonna stay the same. So I want you to alternate our C chord and our G chord. This one's gonna be a little bit more challenging for you. All right, pause the video, run that a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of times so it's back in your muscle memory. All right, now the next two chords is gonna be from our G chord to our D chord. Now everybody freaks out on this one too because it's like, whoa, it's a black note now. Guess what, black notes aren't any harder to play than white notes, so don't freak out. They just happen to be black instead of white. And so all we're gonna do for this one is the middle note, this D, stays the same for both chords. This is kind of where we're gonna anchor on. And then the outside notes move down. So the top one, your pinky moves down from this G to your fourth finger on this F sharp. And at the same time, your thumb moves from the B down to the A. So the outsides just move from these two notes to these two notes. And you might want to actually practice this before we put the two in there. So practice this a couple times. And now we're going to add the two. Remember, the two just stays on this D the whole time. So it's going to look like this. Your G chord. And now the outsides move down one. And we're going to move back up. And we're going to move back down. I want you to just alternate those two chords until it's in your muscle memory. All right, now at this point, what I actually want you to do is pause the video again, and I want you to go through 
all four of those chords again, alternating just two chords at a time to lock it down even further before we put them together. All right, so now that you made it this far, we're gonna put the entire thing together. Now, if you're a beginner, this next step might be too hard for you. You might have to come back tomorrow to finish a step because when we sleep on it, it actually helps solidify and consolidate all this muscle memory into your brain to make it easier, hands separate, so when you put hands together, um, you can get it. So I want you to try this right now, but if you get frustrated, don't worry, you might just have to sleep on it. All right, so we're gonna do all four chords now. So we're gonna start with our E minor. Then we're gonna move to our C major. And then down to the G major. And then lastly, to our D major. We're just gonna repeat these four chords over and over and just drill these into our muscle memory nice and deep. All right, so pause the video and get all four chords down. All right, now we're back. You have all four chords in the right hand down. Now we're simply gonna add the left hand in. Now make sure you have the right chords, hand chords pretty solid. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little tricky adding the left hand in. So the left hand, we're simply gonna play the root note of the chord. Now, the concept of a root note is very easy to understand. The root just notes just means whatever the name of the chord is, that letter is the root note. Okay, so a C major chord, the root note is a C. The, a C minor chord, the root note is still a C. A G major chord, the root note is a G. A E major chord, the root note is a E. B flat major chord, the root note is a B flat. Whatever the name of the note is, that's the root note. So if our chord progression is E minor, C major, G major, D major, our root notes are gonna be E, C, G, D. Pretty easy to understand. So all our left hand is gonna play is E, C, G, D. So I want you to repeat those four notes very, very slowly over and over until they're drilled into your muscle memory. Pause the video and do that now. All right, now we're back, and now we're gonna put it all together. So let's do this very slowly, and we're gonna use the same strategy as before. We're not gonna get overwhelmed. We're gonna use alternating chords. So first, we're gonna go on our E minor chord. So E, B, E, G. And we're gonna move down to our C major. So in our left hand, it goes down from this E to the C. In our right hand, it goes up from the B to the C. And remember, these top two notes stay the same. So it's gonna be E minor, C major. And I want you to just keep alternating E minor and C major over and over and over again until it's drilled into your muscle memory. Now, you know, I know this alternating chord seems very tedious, but I promise you 100%, so many students have used this and it works so much better than learning everything at once, getting it sloppy, and then getting hands together sloppy. And people get frustrated because they don't take a little bit more time at the beginning, so they save a lot of time in the future. Does that make sense? All right, so let's go on to the next two chords. We have our C chord and then our G chord. And again, we're gonna take just these two chords. And we're just gonna alternate these two. All right, and lastly, we're gonna use the last two chords of the progression. We're gonna go from our G chord to our D major chord. And we're just gonna repeat this over and over and over again. So pause the video and do that now. All right, on to the final step. We're gonna go through the entire chord progression. So we're gonna start on E minor and then C major to G major, and finally to D major. And I want you to just keep practicing this progression, these four chords, over and over, until they're drilled into your muscle memory, and now you have the four chords learned. All right, so before we go into money patterns, I just wanna say, I know that the first time you learn this, it will take a long time, right? You're gonna constantly be looking up your, your cheat sheet. You're gonna constantly be finding the notes with your fingers. You're gonna be struggling getting hands together. And it might seem like, man, this is gonna take forever to learn songs. But once you learn three or four or five or six songs, all of a sudden you start repeating the same chords, right? Maybe the next song you play has an E minor chord in it. Guess what, E minor is gonna be easy for you because you already learned it. Maybe some chords have the exact same chord progression. 
So then you don't even have to learn anything. You've probably seen the video where it's one guy and he's like, it's called Axis of Awesome. Um, it's like guys play 100 songs over the same four chords, right? So if you just learn these chords and spend the time now, it's going to be very a lot faster learning chords in the future. All right, so the next step is to going to go over money patterns. Now, money patterns are simply patterns that I use with the same notes, but they just have a different rhythm, right? So we're going to use the same notes, this, the same thing we just learned, but we're going to do different rhythms. So for example, it might be... That's the pattern from All of Me by John Legend. You probably recognize it. But we can use these same four chords and we can make up our own patterns and we can use different patterns. For example, we could do this. So same notes, different pattern. We could do something like this. Now, if you want to, you can just make up your own patterns, but if you want to save a little time, I have um, specific money patterns that are kind of just my go-tos, and after trying a bunch of them, these are kind of the ones I use all the time when I actually gig and when I actually play with singers or with bands and stuff like that. Now, these, it's going to take kind of a while to explain in this video, so um, I'm actually going to jump back over to the website. I'm going to show you where you can find these. All right, so here we are back on the resources page for this lesson. Remember, this was the same page where you downloaded your cheat sheets on. Now, in other lessons down here, you can see there's uh, one that says, learn four chords, learn hundreds of songs. So if you click that lesson, it's going to go to this page. And in this page, you'll notice this is actually a different resources lesson, but this is where I explain a lot of my money rhythms, my money arpeggio patterns, and what I call money variations. So these are the videos that are going to explain this more in depth, but make sure you have these four chords really in your bones and really in your muscle memory before you try to add money patterns to it. All right, so before you do that, I actually want to make sure that you guys are going to get to the quiz. So if you go back to that resources page, and you click on click here to take the quiz on chords. It's going to take a couple seconds to load. And then you'll see here's the ultimate chord quiz. And you'll see these questions like, what are the notes of a C major chord? And you do the hint. Use the boom 4-3 method. You can also look on the cheat sheet. Find the C major chord. And it's going to have five like that. And then five questions that say, what chord is this? And it's going to do the opposite. It's going to show you the chord. And then you have to figure out which chord it is. So I want you to go through these 10 questions. Then um, once you do that, it's going to give you your score out of 10. And actually, feel free to go back to the original YouTube video and actually go in the comments and be like, hey, I got a 10 out of 10. I got an 8 out of 10. Or leave me any questions you have on that. I really hope you like this video. I really spent a lot of time trying to make this as easy and simplified as possible and putting a lot of cheat sheets together and everything. So if you like this kind of training, if you could hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video, I would really appreciate it. And again, if you want to sign up for my free piano course, just click the link and you can sign up. It's 100% free. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy practicing and peace out.